So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel, man. Salute. Now, let me ask you this question before we get into today's video, which is the 15 scary videos you can't unsee. Right. So, question, quick question for y'all, man. What's the what's the what's what's the best suspenseful movie I've seen in a while? I mean, I was thinking about that because a lot of these videos be like suspense style because we don't know what we're seeing, what's about to happen, what's about to go on, what could or couldn't be. And it got me thinking like, I'm a fan. Now I know why I'm a fan of these videos so much is because of suspense movies, bro. Like one of my favorite joints is Split. Would you kind I think you would classify that as suspense. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. But I think Split is... It would be deemed classified as a suspenseful movie. You know what I mean? Dude has like 20 something, you know what I mean? People inside of his head pretty much and he wants them to come to the light and they're all getting ready and anticipating this one personality to come through throughout the entire movie. You know what I mean? Each personality is playing off that. It's a crazy movie and I just, I, I thought it was super dope. Now does that make me crazy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why do I like that? I don't know. It was just super crazy. It was funny. It was good. It was suspenseful. It was all of that to me. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all favorite suspense movies is. Drop them in the comment section. All right. Y'all might give me something to look forward to watching. You know what I mean? When I do get an opportunity to watch TV, I'm still trying to finish Blacklist. It's crazy. But anyway, we're going to get to this video. If you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button and join the fam. What is you doing? You ain't hit it yet? What else? What else you waiting for? Just hit the button. Hit the button. Here we go. Once you watch these scary videos, they will be trapped in your mind forever because these are the 15 scary videos you can't unsee. Number 15, Ghost Girl, who is standing at the end of the hallway. Published by Find Ghost in December of 2021, this short clip captures a ghost girl on camera in a haunted home. As ghost hunters are searching around this room, the camera pans around. Look closely at the end of the hallway. A creepy figure can be seen standing there with long white hair and a darkened face. When the cameraman pans back a moment later, the figure is gone. Would you leave? The caption says, I'm already gone. Number four. Cameraman try to pretend like he ain't see it. That's not your friend. Like, <laughs> he ain't gonna alert y'all to apparent danger that's around. Don't, you gotta get rid of that dude out your circle. Teen ghost warning. This one is out of sight. Published by Grid Synergy in November of 2017, this scary security footage was filmed in a computer lab at night. A man is working across two computers when an alarm sounds, jarring him to turn around. Clearly confused about what this alarm is for, the man gets up to look. After the Did anybody ever stop to ask why is he in a building like this, all the lights off? Like, who works like this? And it's like huge office space building. Like, why? That makes no sense. Look like he edited from the screen. I can, it looks like. The alarm doesn't repeat. The man sits back down at his desk, satisfied that it must be nothing. You see, he ain't put them headphones back on. He want to hear it now. I would have never had them on. Or you hit him with the DJ style, you got one over one ear and the other one's off. I got to be able to hear what's going on around me. But then a loud bang is heard. And after a moment off screen, a lot more racket is heard, followed by the man clearly fleeing in fear. I ain't laughing at him running in fear because I did the same thing. I'm just laughing because I did the same thing. He couldn't get out of there fast enough. Yes. Smart. What drove him to flee? With the man now gone, a strange creak is heard, followed by another loud bang.
If only we could see what was happening off screen. Be careful what you wish for. This video allows a 360 view of what's going on. Head back to when the bang is heard. A light turns on in a room next to a foosball table. When the man heads off screen, he is heading over to check out this room. He looks in but sees nothing, though he picks something up off the floor. Perhaps this is what caused the noise. When he heads out again, he switches off the light. That's when the racket happens. The door slams and a chair shoots back from a desk in front of him. The man flees the scene. The light turns on. You know, I respect that dude. I respect that dude a lot. He ain't try to stand there, figure it out, investigate, knowing that he... No. Just go. I respect that. His reflection is seen in the window. As I said, be careful what you wish for, because now you can't unsee it. Number 13. Haunted Parking Lot There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9pm, the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f- it doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes, but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long, he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. Number 12. Jin is watching. Look in the mirror before you go to sleep tonight. Posted to TikTok by Ghost Vault. This creepy security footage shows a man snuggling up beneath his blankets in bed, ready to get a good night's rest, or so he thought. As he lays calmly down to sleep, a figure's face appears in a mirror on the wall above him. The woman has a white. I've seen this clip before, but it still makes you think. How many people fall asleep? in this world, in this country, it, it don't matter, in your state, in your city, and how, out of those people, how many people are being watched and don't even know it? Like, don't that make you, like, man, it make the hairs on your body stand up thinking about how many people are being watched when they sleep and don't even know it. That's scary. Face and long dark hair. She appears to watch the sleeping man for a moment, her reflection moving around a bit in the mirror. After a time, she slinks off. But does she ever really leave? I'd be getting the heck out of that place ASAP. Number 11. Skyscraper Quake The 52nd floor of a building is the last place you'd want to be when a quake happens, but it's where this YouTuber found herself. Published by R055 in March of 2011, this terrifying video will make you stand clear of the glass windows. Filmed from Mori Tower in Tokyo, Japan, the building cracks and creaks as those in the tower stand clear of the floor-to-ceiling windows. At that point, all you could do is just pretty much just like pray that you make it out of this situation because you don't want to go in the stairwell. Something happens, you're stuck in the stairwell. You definitely ain't getting no elevator. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh what do you do at that point? You know, you get close to a wall. What do you, what do you do? The receptionist desk jerks suddenly as the people make their way to the sturdier inner walls. <laughs> Over 
of the intercom, a robo voice announces that there's been a quake, as if anyone experiencing this firsthand needed reminding. Several people working in the building are seen running around in panic. One woman tries to calm the rest, and they all crouch down, holding onto the wall. As soon as that thing stop, I'll be gone. You hear me? I'm gone. <laughs> the YouTuber says the psychological fear of the tower collapsing was the scariest part though. She says the building kept swaying well after the quake and they were stuck on the floor for an hour and a half. Those in the comments note that the foreigners are panicking while the Japanese are relatively calm. This is likely because they are used to it as some 5,000 quakes occur in Japan every year. What? So when in Japan... Five, whoa, 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 not saying I had a trip planning to go there or anything, but now that I know that, bro, 5,000 a year, 5,000 a year, sheesh, that's like, let's see, it's like 13 a day. Almost 14 a day? That's crazy. And stay calm and collected when the earth quakes. Number 10, school ghost. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. <laughs> I thought that was snakes. <laughs> The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious. Number 9. Glitch Is this a glitch in the Matrix? Published in July of 2010, the so-called extraterrestrial sighting was captured at 4.45 in the morning in Grass Valley, California. The YouTuber writes, LB and I went to investigate what I thought was an animal in the parking lot of the office. I heard a sound that I cannot describe. This is what they saw. Dude, what the f*** is that? Dude, look through the night vision. Look on the screen. The YouTuber explains that when he was pulling in, he saw something strange with the lights on. He assumed it was a maintenance person but went to investigate after hearing the sound. You can see the light he's talking about at a distance. They follow a road to where he thinks he earlier saw the light. He sets the camera down and zooms in. An unusual flickering light flashes across the screen. It then flashes in the other direction. And this time an attached figure is clearly running. The flickering figure pauses for a moment and they ask who it is. Hello? Hey, who is that? He looks like he's glitching out. A moment later, he runs off again and a strange screech is heard. This tripped me out, dude. Is this an extraterrestrial, or is this some other supernatural creature of our own world? Number 8. The House That Cries Just how upset is this house? Published in December of 2021, Luigi Brothers head to the 14th century Grosley Old Hall in Wolverhampton, which the BBC has called The House That Cries. This is due to the pools of water that previous owners and occupants say have mysteriously appeared in the main hall. Maybe it will cry today. The team's EMF meter is set off right quick. Um, so let me, uh, let me put my garbage tube up on this one. Hello? While using a spirit box, the spirits tell them to rest in peace. If you could blow one of these candles out. Rest in peace. Jesus. Whoa. It's morbid, eh? Whoa. Ain't no type of device gonna tell me to rest in peace. No. 
Ain't no way, bro. That thing just said rest in peace to them. And they're still there. And I ain't, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Turned into my grandma. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Ain't happening, Captain. As they continue trying to speak with the spirits, they seem to like communicating via Nox. If you can hear me. At one point later, after the ghost devices continually go off, a sound is heard in the next room over. Is this the spirit that causes the house to cry? If so, rest in peace. Number 7. The Ghostly Figure if the locals tell you to leave, you might want to heed their advice. Published by Zero One Supernatural Studio in December of 2021, this ghost hunter is on a mission to encounter the paranormal. The YouTuber writes, The place I took you to to explore today, according to the locals, is a house that you should not take a second look at if you are not passing by. The EMF meter is quickly set off by whatever being is present. The shape of a dark figure appears in front of the ghost hunter on the infrared camera. The meter is triggered again in another room, where a table and other things appear to have been set on fire. Later, he enters a room whose floor is littered with items. He says there are things in this house to worship the gods. The EMF meter continues to be set off in other rooms throughout the home, sometimes strongly and sometimes sporadically. What happened in this mysterious place? Whatever happened here, it seems the locals can't unsee it. Number 6. Soul Evaporating what does a soul look like when it evaporates? You're about to find out. Published by the New Reality Paranormal in May of 2021, this creepy clip captures a weird mist manifesting in a farmhouse. As this pair of ghost hunters enter the house, one of them jumps. He heard something behind him, but it's what's in front of him that's spooky. What's that? Did you, did you just hear that, bro? The aforementioned strange mist drifts right in front of him, oh, lit by his flashlight. Y'all saw that? Strange mist drifts right in front of him, lit by his flashlight. There's a shuffle behind you. What was that? It either went into the flashlight or his hand. Like it entered his body or something. He doesn't even seem to see it, though it's right or feel it. Right in front of his very eyes. What was that? As Nonbo Pali remarks in the comments, it looks like a soul evaporating. Do you agree with this comment? Either way, I think this footage is certainly mysterious. Number 5. Virginia City Washoe Club The historic Washoe Club has a haunted past, a former saloon, millionaire's club, and crypt. The club was a favorite haunt for elites, cowboys, and prospectors alike. Published by Paranormal Voyages in August of 2021, Celia and Jonathan team up with No Fear Paranormal of Las Vegas to explore the haunted Virginia City Club. Immediately while speaking with the spirits through a spirit box, Bob introduces himself and says he's been here 110. How long have you been here? <laughs> Is this a century-old ghost? When they ask the spirit if he's in there, moving, he responds, Me? Yeah, and says his name is William. Who's you? What is your name? 
in one room where a father is said to have taken his own life after his daughter and her friend fell into a mine. The spirit says, there's two of them. Later, using a connect, Celia sees an anomaly in the doorway. She says it's touching Jonathan. Right in the doorway. Mm. Right directly in front of you. It's touching you. Another device, which flashes when it senses a presence, starts flashing in the crypt on the first floor. So you got two devices telling you that something's touching you or something's near. Uh, the spirit doing that? Did you turn on the eye? Did you do that to the light? When they ask how many bodies were kept in the crypt, the answer is at least one. It is cold in here. It's really cold in here. <laughs> The spirits continue to be communicative as the crew investigates a vi Holy snap, bro. That, that would have messed me. <laughs> Where did that thing come from? The spirits continue to be communicative as the crew invest- That. You just turn to your left and you see that sitting there. It almost looked like a real person sitting there just staring at you, bro. Investigates. At various points, spirits tell them how their lives were taken, as well as speak one of the crew's names after directly being asked oh. to... Can you say Jeff or Jonathan? Jeff. 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 Holy oh, cow. Thank that you. was clear. Thank you. And tell them that they like it when people come to the club. You like whenever people come here and try to communicate with you? I do. I do. I do. Wow. Crap, that was fast. That's probably the clearest device I've ever heard, bro. Like, you can literally hear what he's saying, or it's saying. I do. Jeff. William. Like, it's been talking like a regular conversation between me and you. Normally, you it's so... You know what I mean? It has so much static in it, you can could, you could hintly understand what it. This is clear. I don't know what device they got, but this is clear. That was good. Thank you. This has got to be one of the most active communications with spirits ever caught on camera. Fact. Number four, Paranormal Encounter. This accordion is fly. Published by Realized Alterna in December of 2021, Dennis visits a home whose last occupant was a grandmother who is allegedly a witch dedicated to dark magic. One of the first scary disturbances in the home is when the cutlery moves inexplicably on its own. Even more ominous, an accordion starts to play by itself in the next room. How is this happening? Dennis looks all around the accordion, which isn't connected to anything else. The accordion plays for a long time. Later, that same accordion would do more than play. As Dennis is in the other room, the accordion leaps from the table and flies into the room at him, narrowly missing him. The paranormal attack. How many more signs do you need before it's time to go? <laughs> is one of the scariest things I've ever witnessed on this channel. Even though I'd have threw it right back in that room at him. And that wasn't the only thing Dennis had to deal with that night. What is causing all of this activity? There's no other explanation besides the paranormal. Number three, ghost opens door. When you hear the creak of a door open by itself, it might not just be the wind. This entry was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Purgatory Adventures. They were investigating a haunted house for six hours, and only once did they capture this door opening on its own. The door's open. What? The door's open. You closed that, remember? Yeah. Oh my god, the door's open. Who's in here? See for yourself. So what do you think? As you can see, it's not latched all the way. But if it was a breeze or something, there'd be wind outside, but there's no wind. Yeah, there's no wind. 
I think this house is truly haunted. Number two, John Jerome. Ouija boards are up to no. Oh, here we go again with another term, Ouija board. Y'all ain't learned your lesson yet, have you? Clearly. Good in this scary video, published by Danny Dorito in March of 2020, this Friday the 13th spirit has something to say. While in an old defunct kitchen, Danny and Kazzy hear a repeated squeaking or tweeting sound. I don't know if that's like those are mice, but I doubt it because it's just a consistent sound. It might. It sounds like a mouse or a bird, and it continues for ages. It seems to be coming from one of the vents. They hear it several minutes later as they're setting up the Ouija board. Guys, do you know that? <laughs> Dad, can you stop? Listen, I can't control it, okay? Bro, make a shitty joke. They then repeatedly hear what they describe as faint voices talking. No. I, hear, I hear something else. Me too, that's what I'm saying. It's like so faint. Yeah, it, it sounds like people having a conversation, but like from really far away. Very, very far and muffled. This happens on two separate occasions, but the camera doesn't seem to catch it above the repeated tweeting. A moment later, they hear someone whistling a song. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He's whistling a song. As that sounds like a mosquito, bro. I don't sound they like no, don't sound like no whistle. That sound like mosquito. In you their Ouija board ritual, they both outside bugs. Like you, ever, if you ever lived in the country, you know what I'm talking about. Feel something whisper into their ears at once. In Kazzy's left ear and Danny's right. Bro, did you hear that? I felt that. Bro, it was like it was right in my ear, in my right ear. It was in my left ear. It was from the side. Yeah. They then hear something from the corner, but they're not sure what the voice said. Like is it? I'll say it. They all said yeah. I don't even know what it said. I just heard yeah, yeah. exactly. That's exactly right. What I heard. Yes. When they stand on a certain spot, the tweeting starts going double time. They decide to try the Ouija board right on this spot. The spirit leads them to the letter J. Earlier, they had heard the name John or Jerome in the spirit box. Bro, are you moving it? Of course not. I can't. Bro, I just heard a whistle, and the wall behind you is vibrating. Shh, what's, what's it on? What's it on? Still moving, still moving. Has John been whispering voices in their ears all night? Or is that Jerome tweeting from the rafters? I've got a challenge for you. Eek. Chillin' YT. And tap that follow. This DJ is playing more than your favorite records. Published by C's Crazy Crossroads. C and his buddy investigate a haunted DJ station in this scary video. As the pair are talking to DJ Doa, they ask. Nah, that's gonna be crazy. An actual ghost DJ, bro? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Ask him to make a light flicker on the mixer, but he has another idea. And if you can make that flicker again. When they ask the spirit if he can make the trash can move again, he playfully starts to turn the turntable instead. Uh, dude, dude. I don't know, I kind of want to hear him turn something on and do a little DJ and see what he, what type of skills this ghost got. Did you do that? Did you do something? No. Later, the fans come back on after shutting off on their own. Jesus, dude, what the... I came back home. And the trash can is at it again. What the dude, are you serious right now? Look, dude. Did you see that move, Mike? Yeah, I did, and I heard it, and I don't feel good about this at all. You're okay. <laughs> it's okay, man, I promise. I'm with Mike. <laughs> Not long after they hear screaming. Um and more screaming, this time after some strange smoke appears on camera. This is just like, I really sure that there's no escape and we're in this little room. Sound starts coming out of the speakers once again. Let's walk. What the hell, dude? Listen! And a chair starts to spin on its own. The turntable keeps moving, even though the power is off. 
That thing's still moving. Is the power off? Is the power off? Yeah. If the red light's out on it. When they ask the spirit to spin the chair one more time, he plays around with the garbage can again instead. Can you move that chair one more time for me? The DJ sends them off with a kick through the speakers, and that's finally enough to send them on their way. It's just this speaker. Uh, let's go. That, are you kidding me right now? Like, Have you watched so many scary videos that you think you- You stayed a lot longer than I would have, bro. You playing with the trash can, I'm gone. You got the, the turntables moving, I'm gone. Screams, huh? What, what, what more do you need? <laughs> what more do you need? No, 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 no. I, I definitely would want to hear it, though. If the ghost actually started playing music, that would have been dope. I can't even lie to you, but I still would have got out of there. <laughs> I don't trust it, man. Some crazy, weird stuff be happening, bro. It's always something, though. I enjoy it, though. I can't lie. From the comfort of my home at the same time. You know what I mean? Do you blame me? No. But uh, y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you thought of this video, man. Some crazy, strange stuff out there. And uh, we're just going to keep checking it out. It's your boy L. Till the next one, I'm gone. Peace.